still values have been really, really strong uh, recently, uh, and uh, and the credit availability has been high. Uh, you know, driven by low interest rates, uh, low delinquency rates, even the losses on the the severity levels have been very low. Um, uh, and that has allowed, uh, you know, the lenders to increase loan uh, terms uh, to to uh, provide more full spectrum lending, uh, you know, given that losses have been pretty low. Um, and as uh, as that supply in the marketplace uh, continues to increase on used car market, uh, as the economy stabilizes, uh, and the interest rates uh, start to rise, we see some softening in the marketplace uh, and uh, not a sudden change, but a gradual softening uh, to pre-recession levels. And we, it's important for, for the lenders to recognize uh, when that curve in the road is coming uh, to be able to take their portfolio, look at that portfolio and refresh that portfolio and analyze what strategies would they want to change where would they want to grow more, uh, where do they want to uh, kind of tighten the, uh, the risk lever uh, and uh, for them to be able to do those. So they want to be able to look at that portfolio, refresh that portfolio. Uh, and uh, one other aspect uh, where we've been helping the lenders have been looking at uh, not just the loan to value ratio at originations, but looking at uh, again, to my perspective on holistically uh, a lifetime analysis. Uh, what would that uh, car bring when that car is repossessed, if it is? Um, how, uh, uh, you know, what the value would be at 12 months, at 18 months, uh, depending upon when that repossession may occur, and helping the lenders analyze that uh, and make sure that they are prepared uh, when that turn starts to come in in, uh, in, in the lending environment as well as uh, making sure they can manage their risks better.